is Coach Sandra Cotto. She is going to be making a recipe from the bundle. It's an amazing recipe. It's vegan, of course, but it's also oil-free and gluten-free. And she's going to be making bagels that are actually good for you. Please welcome her to the show. I love your shirt, by the way. Yes, eat plants. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me on the show. I'm really grateful and excited to be a part of this bundle. Yes, happy to have you. Would you like to tell people what you have in the bundle and also maybe what else you liked in the bundle? Yes, yes. So I have, my bundle is Get Sexy on Plants After 40, 50 and Beyond. It is your 21 day kickstart guide to look and feel sexy. Uh, so it's got a little bit of everything in there. It's for the person who um, is wanting to learn a little bit more about plant-based eating. There's recipes, um, We've got even a little uh, area where you get to really, I, and this is one of the things that I tell a lot of my clients is get connected to your why. Why is it that you want to do something? Why is it that you want to go vegan or plant-based so that it will help you be successful? And so there's lots of things like um, a 30-minute HIIT workout. There are recipes, my top 21 protein sources, superfoods. Uh, 21 tips to help you transition over to a plant-based life, uh, tips on how to go and dine out as a vegan with those who are not vegans, which can be very challenging uh, socially for a lot of people who are transitioning. And then of course, you know, my five steps on how to get sexy and feel sexy after 40, 50 and beyond in this stage of our life that we get to love ourselves no matter what stage we're in. And so that's, that's my book. That sounds terrific. <laughs> Yeah. And in terms of what I like, some of the books uh, there, oh my God, this bundle is really amazing because there's a lot, there's something in there for everybody. Um, one of the ones that I, I made this huge feast the other day from the great uh, North Indian vegan cookbook. Oh my goodness. It was absolutely delicious. Yeah. I've made Indian before my, you know, myself, and it was really, really good. So that's a book that I know that I'm going to be going in, going diving a little bit deeper into it. And there's a couple of books on menopause because I am in that stage of my life where I'm already three years in full menopause. And so I, I wanted to dive into that and see what they had to say. So a lot of really great stuff. Also, Danielle Arsenal. I don't know if she was on your show or not. She's got the free. Yeah, she, well, she wasn't on live because she lives in another country, but she submitted two wonderful videos with her recipes. Yes, her recipes are amazing. And her program alone is a four week program that costs $444. And you're only getting, you know, you're getting the bundle for 49. So it's like a no brainer, a lot of really great stuff, a lot of great resources. I uh, still am going through all of the books. That's fantastic. Yep. Yeah. Such a value. It is. It's, it's a great value. When you think about all the resources, I wish they had something like this when I was going vegan 10 years ago. Uh, my journey has been 10 years. And of course, now, you know, there's a lot more than there were 10 years ago, but it would have been nice to have something because I never really planned to go this way. I never had any, you know, uh, idea that I was going to be vegan. And uh, I was navigating this, really figuring it out on my own. And so this is a great resource. It's not only for someone who wants to transition, Chef AJ, but also uh, just anybody who is wanting to up-level their life, who wants to live a healthy, wealthy life, that there's so many different resources in there and there's something for everybody, even like for children, picky eaters and, you know, lots of really, yoga, fascia flow. That's another one I wanted to get into. There was a book in there about fascia flow. So. Oh yeah. That looks like an amazing course as she was on the show, Drina. Yep. It seems like oh. it's something everyone can do regardless of their age or level of fitness. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So lots of really great stuff. Looking, looking forward to going through more of it. Uh, it's a lot. And the great thing is, is that you get to download it. And once you download it, it's yours for life and you have a year to go ahead and download it. So it's, you know, when you think about the investment of $49, what it costs you to go out for dinner for two people, you're going to be paying more than 49. Even That's right. <laughs> we, 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 we go to a, a compliant vegan restaurant once a week when we have a class, Charles and I, we get a takeout. And that's about what it is. Once we do the tip and the tax for two people, it's about $50. Right. Yeah. And so when you think about what we spend money on sometimes on just stuff that may not change our life, I mean, this could be something that could change your life. Like on my journey, I never expected my life to change. And who would have thought at the time I made a $350 investment in a program and at the end of that, I was like, whoa, I'm, I'm embarking on a new lifestyle. So 
It could really it. be beneficial. This bundle will change your life. And from what I understand from you, the bagels you're going to make will change your life. <laughs> they will. <laughs> These are great bagels. So I'm originally from New York, growing up in New York. Uh, you know, we a lot of bagels, a lot of bread, uh, but I no longer like to eat the white flour. Uh, I have bagels on occasion, very rare occasion, but these bagels are grain-free, gluten-free, and they're super healthy for you. And I have to say, and I know this is the cooking show, but when you eat these bagels, you are going to notice you have this most beautiful elimination because of all of the fiber that's in here. We've got our flax seeds and we've got our psyllium husk. So shall I go ahead and get started? Absolutely. Okay. So here we go. Uh, and what I love, this recipe is like super simple. Anybody can do it. If you're someone who's not really handy in the kitchen, it's okay. Very, very simple. Follow it and you will be fine. Okay. So we're going to do one cup of almond flour. We'll measure that out. See if you guys make sure you can see me. So we're going to put all of our dry ingredients together first, and then we'll put all of our wet ingredients separate, and then we'll add them together. So we have our one cup of almond flour. And then we're going to do one cup of ground flaxseed. I like to get the whole flaxseed and have that instead of the already ground up. And then I just grind it up in my grinder here so that it's nice and fresh. So I did that earlier and I have my one cup. Let me just make sure, I believe this is exactly one cup of flax, flax seeds, it sure is. So we're gonna throw that in there. Then this is the key, our psyllium husk. We're gonna do a half a cup of the psyllium husk, great for digestion, great for lowering cholesterol. Half a cup. All right, we've got a half a cup. We're gonna throw that in there. All right, what else have we got now? So those are our three main ingredients, our flaxseed, our almond flour, and our psyllium husk. That's kind of like the bulk of the recipe. Then we have our spices. Let me move my spices over here. And we're going to add in our spices. We are going to, oh, actually, let's go ahead and do our, almost forgot the baking powder. We need two teaspoons of baking powder. I mean, it doesn't matter. You can put the spices and then the baking powder, but I like to put all the main ingredients and then my seasonings after. All right, then we are going to do our sea salt which is two teaspoons of sea salt. We have our onion granules. Same thing, two teaspoons. And I like, I didn't, I wasn't able to find the little, um, where you can get like the actual little onion, like chunks, the dried onion chunks, which I really like with these bagels because it just really gives it that extra pop, that pop of onion flavor. What about like local spicery? They have that like uh, showstopper topper that's like the everything bagel mix and they may even make it salt free. Have you ever, that, that's really good for okay, a coffee. Yeah, well, I've got, um, I've got the everything but the bagel, which we're going to put on top of the bagels. At the I end. see. You're looking for something on the inside as well. Yes. To have the little, like the little pieces of onion, which I, I couldn't find. I was having a hard time. Um, so I, I found this one. It was like an onion uh, blend here that I'm gonna add to give it that little extra flavor. Because remember, we're dealing with almond flour and psyllium husk and flax. So we really wanna add some flavor to these bagels. So we've got all of our spices in there. So just to show you, right? These are all our spices, super simple. We're gonna go ahead and just mix that up. Make sure all the spices are mixed in. So it's all even. And so just to chat a little bit about my book, um, Feeling Sexy Over 40, 50 and Beyond, uh, you know, when I went plant-based vegan 10, oh, 10 years now, this May is going to be 10 years, and I started to change my way of eating because of a challenge that I did. I did a 21-day raw vegan cleanse that... Uh, 
my friend said, listen, I'm doing a spring cleaning for my body. And I want to know if you want to join me on this challenge for 21 days. And I was like, I love a challenge. Anytime I can do a challenge, I'm like, yeah, tell me about it. And so we went to find out about uh, the program. And one of the things that really attracted me to this was that I had been suffering from allergy and asthma for 20 years. And I was on four daily medications, two inhalers. I was on a nasal spray. Uh, I was taking allergy pills. I had shots on a weekly basis. I had two sinus surgeries and I had tubes put in my ears. <laughs> so with all of that, I was still feeling, you know, all the effects of what I was suffering with, the asthma and the allergies. And so she said, you know, I really think this will help you uh, if you do this 21 days, it will probably clear up some of this congestion that you had. So I said, all right, I'm in did the challenge and it was basically getting rid of all of your, um, you know, meat, dairy, all of your nuts, seeds, grains, uh, coffee, alcohol. It was strictly just tender greens and fruits. And um, at the end of those 21 days, I just felt fabulous. I, it was the first time I was able to really smell and taste my food in a really long time. I had lost 12 pounds. My skin was glowing. I had super energy. And I was like, whoa, I feel so amazing that I can only imagine if I continued on this journey, how much better I'm going to feel. And so at that point, I said, you know what? I, I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back to feeling the way I was feeling. I think I'm going to continue eating this way. But I did eat fish for about four months because I was like, I don't know how I'm going to be when I'm in social situations. You know, what am I going to be able to eat? Will I get my protein? You know, all the things because I knew nothing about what veganism was, what the lifestyle was, because it wasn't anything that was in my plan. And I just knew that I felt good, right? There was enough evidence for me to feel good. And um, I went to see a movie, the documentary Cowspiracy, and it was after watching the documentary that I walked out of the theater and said, okay, you know what, I'm going to give up fish and this is it. I'm going to go, I'm going to go vegan from this point on. Didn't know how I was going to do it, had no knowledge and what I would be eating. I do love to cook. And so it really opened up my eyes and an opportunity to see what were some other foods that I wasn't eating, right? A lot of fruits and vegetables that we're not exposed to because we tend to get set in this standard American diet where we eat kind of the same things over and over. And we don't really expand our palate. So it was amazing. It was amazing. And there I was, you know, decided to go vegan. And here I am 10 years later, able to wean myself off of the four daily medications that I was on for 20 years and just felt fantastic. So a lot of my recipes, you know, you'll see they're grain free and gluten free. You know, I was not doing a lot of grains for a while because of the asthma. And I was noticing that it was affecting my asthma. So a lot of my recipes are gluten free. I'm not, you know, gluten, you know, intolerant or anything, but I just choose not to. Yeah, great. Jerry wants to know, is it psyllium husk or psyllium powder you're using? Billium Husk. Thank you. And this is not my favorite brand. My favorite brand is Organic India, which you can order um, on, um, you know, on Amazon. This one is a whole psyllium husk. That's all you want is just the psyllium husk. Organic is best if you can. All right. So I'm going to do the wet ingredients, which was one cup of tahini and one and a half cups of either water or veggie broth. I like to use veggie broth. This is a low sodium veggie broth. Um, just to give it that little bit of extra flavor, you don't have to, you can use water. Uh, Sandra, one of the live viewers has a nut allergy and asks if another flour can be substituted for almond flour. Oh, okay. You know, I haven't experimented outside of the almond flour, but you could possibly try chickpea. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Yeah, that was like my first, my first would be try it with chickpea because I have not tried it with another type of flour. All right, let's move these out of the way. All right, so we've got our wet ingredients, we've got our dry ingredients, and then we're gonna mix the two together. So first I like to really incorporate you're going to see you've got like a soupy mixture here. 
The tahini might be a little bit thicker. So you just want to incorporate it all with the fluid, whether it's water or whether it's your veggie broth. And just kind of give it a good mix, get it all mixed in together. And then we're going to combine the dry and the wet. And then you'll see what that is going to look like. Okay. So we've already mixed in our dry. We want to make sure we get all of our seasonings mixed in. And then we're just going to slowly pour in our wet ingredient. Get all of your tahini. And now we're just going to fold it. We're going to keep folding it and combining the two ingredients together to create a batter-like consistency, which I will show you here in a moment. And so going back to my story with, you know, being able to wean myself off of these medications over a period of time and just really feeling really good and uh, exploring new foods. Like I said, I wish I had the bundle back then where I had some sort of a guide um, on how to really do it. And I just really navigated and, you know, I was Googling recipes. I would go on Pinterest. I was going to the social media outlets to see if I can follow some plant-based people and really learn what this lifestyle was all about. Because when you're starting something new and you're navigating into this new territory that you're not quite sure of, it's really good to get support. Um, and that's where a, a coach can come in to help guide you. Someone who's already been there, who's done it, and uh, who's been successful at it, to successful at it, and to help you right achieve whatever goal it is you want to achieve. Okay, so there's a question from a live viewer named Deb. Okay. How do I purchase the bundle with Sandra's book included? I have been posting the link in what's known as the chat, where you're typing your comment as well as the show notes under the video. So I just posted okay. it again. Just click the link. Oh, Dominique is saying, how about quinoa flour? Hmm. Oh. That could be an option. That could be an option. You could try that. Good it's good to explore and try different things. This is what I love about recipes. For those that are not really experienced with cooking, it's like recipes are great because it's a guide, right? It's something for you to look at and you can try it for the first time. And what I love about cooking is that you get to make changes when you want, right? Take something out, add something in. If you don't like it, maybe experiment. If there's an ingredient that someone's using and you don't like it, you can always try something else. So that's what I love about, about trying different recipes and, and, and cooking. Okay, so let me just show you. See this consistency here? It's like a batter consistency. And thing to remember with these bagels, <laughs> I tell people they're not gonna be like the bagels that you're used to, right? <laughs> because it's not made with gluten, right? So it's going to be a different consistency. It's going to be a little bit dense, um, but it's so good for you. And like I said, you eat these bagels the next day. Elimination is amazing. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> probably all the flax. Probably it's all the flax seeds. All the flax and that psyllium husk is, you know, cleaning out the system. And it's just, you know, we know how they should, how they should look. And uh, it's really making them look ideal. So what I'm doing right now is you see, I'm making like little balls. The, the recipe yields about anywhere from six to eight bagels. Um, so it just depends uh, how big you want to make the bagels. You can make them a little bit smaller. You can make them a little bit bigger. I try to do all the balls first, like make them in little balls here to see how many I get. See like this one's looking a little bit bigger. So I'll put that back. All right. And so eating a plant-based diet has really helped me um, physically, the physical aspect of it, right? Feeling better, getting off the medications. What I did notice, I have been an athlete all of my adult life and uh, running marathons, half marathons, triathlons, you know, uh, doing obstacle course races that when I went plant based, I felt amazing and my recovery times were excellent. I was able to get right back in there and do it all over again. It didn't take me a long time for my recovery because I felt a lot lighter. 
as we know with a plant-based diet, right, our system can digest it uh, a lot quicker than, um, you know, your animal-based products. And I just felt amazing. And then not only that, so that was the physical part, but the mental part, that's where I really started to uh, think about, you know, the world, think about the earth and think about the animals. You know, I never grew up with animals in my home. I didn't have pets really growing up. And so, you know, I didn't have that really that connection when I think back. Um, and it really helped me to just see things differently, to see the world differently, uh, to have more compassion for animals and more compassion for people, right? Because everybody's on their own journey. Um, all we can do is, is be the example and share this beautiful lifestyle. Um, as long as I've been plant-based, you know, my family members are not all plant-based. All plant -based. Um, I do have a cousin who is predominantly plant-based and she's amazing because she's always trying new recipes and making sure that there's food when I come for family gatherings all these years. And sometimes I still get the question like, well, what do you eat? And I don't know if you get this, Chef AJ, but do you get people like everybody always wants to feed me? It's like they it's almost like they think I don't eat enough or like I'm not. I don't know if it's this, you know, this uh, thing about protein or not getting enough protein. But I don't know if you've ever experienced that. It's like everybody wants to feed me They're like, did you eat? I'm like, yeah, believe me, I, I ate. <laughs> Where do you get your protein? You know, it's like this, this, uh. It's crazy. Okay, so we made, what do we got? Two, four, You're six. making such nice balls. You have good ball rolling skill. <laughs> yes. And so I got my little balls here. Let, let me answer this question, if you don't mind. Yeah. The bundle does not include my new dessert cookbook because that is a published book. I would not be allowed to do that and it hasn't come out. However, it does include many, many incredible dessert cookbooks, like one from... Um, Vicki Gack Brett, one from Amanda Sick, one from Kathy Fisher. I think there's at least six dessert books that are free of oil, refined sugar, and um, gluten, and they're amazing. So I could just sh even show you some of the recipes I printed out from them that I'm going to make because the dessert books are my favorite. Let me show you them. Well, I made the lemon cornmeal muffin yesterday, uh, the carrot cake cookies. So oh, yeah. I can't give you a book that hasn't even been published that <laughs> I'm sure I'd like flip out if I did that. But the bundle has over 151 distinct products, coupons, ebooks, courses from your favorite plant-based doctors, influencers, chefs, and it's worth it priced separately, literally over eight thousand dollars. So any there's several courses that are worth three and five hundreds that in just a couple of things, if that's all you use and you have a year to download, but you only have about 30 hours left to purchase it because at yeah. night, tomorrow it is gone forever and we do not make any exceptions. Time is running out. All right. So just to show you, we've got eight here, right? And so I made these in balls first, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press them down a little bit, right? Sort of like a, you know, like a thick pancake because I, I like to make them in balls first to see actually how many I want. You can make them a little bit thicker. You can make them a little bit thinner. I like to make them a little bit little chunky so that way I can cut them in half and then open them up uh, when they are cooked and, you know, put uh, your plant-based, um, you know, uh, jelly or jam. Or plant-based cream cheese, if you like. You can yes. now. I had for breakfast, because I, I had made a, a batch of these last week week. And uh, in my recipe book, I have my eggless uh, tofu salad, which is uh, amazing with fresh dill. Um, you can make the bagels and make an egg, you know, like an eggless uh, tofu bagel sandwich. Really, really good. All right. So I flatten these down a bit. And then what I'm going to do is now it's time to make the little holes, right? To make them look like bagels. So you can use a knife. I use like a little toothpick, a little, um, uh, you know, wooden little toothpick. And I kind of go ahead and just make a little, you know, kind of jabbing it a little bit in a circle. And then I have this cute little <laughs> silver spoon that I kind of just scoop it out, scoop out the middle, right? Because we are trying to make the little holes here. And so let me just show, I'm just going to scoop out. I'm going to scoop this out. So I've got a little bit. This is the little, this is the hole, right? I'm going to be the little uh, extra here. 
I'm going to put that off to the side. And then what I do is I'll just pick it up, right? And so I have my little hole there and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of, you know, make it look a little bit nicer. Kind of, you know, mold it a little bit, play around with it. You'll see a little bit of like these little cracks that will come in. That's okay. Um, you're just going to play with it and mold it really nice until you have like a nice, you know, make it a little even, doesn't have to be perfect, but I can be sometimes, you know, like it to look pretty, right? Because I think that we eat sometimes with our eyes before we eat with our stomach and we, yeah, we like the way things look, right? You bet. Yeah. Okay, so just to show you, right, here we go. This is our bagel, our first one. And so I'm just going to continue doing that. I'm going to continue cutting out. And then with the excess that you have from making the holes, you make another little bagel with that. That could be like your, is it is it called a bialy? The, the thinner? Yeah, what's the difference between, I always wondered, what's the difference between a bagel and a bialy? Yeah, I'm not uh, sure. Maybe it, what the viewers know, because I know it's a thinner one. It's it's not as thick as a regular bagel. So Stephanie's saying, what is the book that you're demonstrating the bagel recipe from? It is from the Get Sexy on Plants After 40, 50 and Beyond, your 21-day kickstart guide to a plant-based lifestyle. This is, it, it's a, it's a guy that's got a little bit of everything. I've got recipes for breakfast, lunch, dinner, their sauces, dressings, a um, couple of desserts in there. It's kind of got a little bit of everything. And it's also, you know, the book really comes from my 21 day. I use some of the, I have a 21 day plant power challenge that I do. And this is an introduction to plant-based eating. Um, and it's a three week program. And so in that program, it's for the, the, the person who is interested in going plant-based, wanting to learn a little bit of recipes. How do I get into this lifestyle? And so a lot of that program, I, I use some of that for this, this, uh, ebook here for somebody who wants to do it on their own, right. Who wants to have some of the resources available. Like, how do I do this? How do I be social? What what is what are the plant based proteins that I can have for someone who maybe who you know has been eating meat all their life and they they're really not uh, aware of the plant based options? So it is in that book, and um, also you know as a, a plant based lifestyle coach, I you know initially started out in my coaching program helping a lot of women who want to transition to a more plant-based lifestyle. And then as I started progressing in my coaching, it, you know, started stemming into really helping women in their forties and fifties to look and feel sexy at this stage in, in their life that, you know, we all go through ebbs and flows in our life and different stages in our life, but we still get to love ourselves either way. Cause I think as women, sometimes we can be really hard on ourselves. We do a lot and we can be self-critical and, I really wanted to lean into that because of my story and, you know, recreating my life after the ending of my marriage um, over 11 years ago, you know, being married for 21 years and taking care of everybody else except for me. And um, I, I found myself like, well, what do I do now? You know, how do I navigate this single life and really, um, enjoy life and take care of me because I was, you know, taking care of everybody else except for me. And so I really feel that's so important that women know their worth. I mean, we just, did we just celebrate International Women's uh, Yeah, I think day. that was yesterday. Yesterday, right? Yeah, it almost looks like you're making donuts. So there's a, a yes. question also, is there a way to share the vegan bundle on social media, text messages, email? It would just be yeah. You share it like anything else. There's a link and yeah. you know, that's the, we don't, you know, I know if you're on my mailing list, there's a, a button on there where you can share things to Facebook. You, you know, there's all the ways to share. So yeah, just, it's just like any other post. 
And somebody's asking about my dessert book. Thank you so much, Dominique. Yes, you can pre-order it anywhere books are sold, Amazon, uh, Bookshop, Barnes and Noble. And I'm just not discussing it re- like during one week, but I appreciate you asking. Just make sure you save your receipt because we're going to send you lots of bonuses when it comes out in August. Uh, some people are saying bo- bagels are boiled or maybe bialis are boiled. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, somebody's saying that, that they have a bread that they know of Anna Sangan and they called it poo bread <laughs> from the psyllium. <laughs> that's that's probably why it makes you poop from the psyllium. <laughs> the psyllium and the flax. Yes, yes. I'm telling you, they it you will notice it the next day. They're, it's great. It's really great. Yeah, these uh, someone made a comment that they do look like donuts, right? Because I'm, I'm making it just like looking like a donut, making it round and taking out the middle. All right, we're on our last one here. We're just about done. And we'll do our last minute fixins on here. And we will take all of the little bagel holes and make an additional bagel. Mm. I hope you have a finished one to show. I do. Oh, thank goodness. (laughs) I sure do. It's hot. I just took it out, took them out of the oven before getting on. So they're still nice and warm. All right. So there are our bagels looking pretty nice. And then we have all the leftovers of the little holes, right? So if you want, you can make another bagel and make a hole, but you know, you want to use it all, right? You don't want to waste anything. So I just, whatever's left, I call this the Bialy, the real the real thin one. I make it into it like a thinner one. What about little bagel bagel bites or bagel balls? Yeah, that's true too. I could make I could make a bit. You know what? I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to leave this as a bagel ball. Good that could idea. Be fun. Could be fun. Good idea. And then actually, this could actually roll into the everything but the bagel. Okay, so let me put this on here as well I'll make a little room for that all right let me rinse my hand all right and then I have a little bit of veggie broth on the side I'm just going to kind of brush the top with the veggie broth just because I'm going to go ahead and put the everything but the bagel seasoning on top just so it kind of sticks to the top you don't have to But I am. Now the recipe calls for a black sesame seed and a regular sesame seed, which you can do. That's fine too. Um, But if you like the Trader Joe's or whatever, everything bagel seasoning that you like, you can use that. And that's what I'm going to use here. And then I'm just going to sprinkle it right on top of the bagels. And then these are going to go in the oven. They're going to bake for about 40 minutes on 375. And you got yourself some healthy bagels. Cool. All right, let me just, you can put as little or as much as you like. And just show you what those look like with all of the seasoning. These are getting ready to go into the oven. Okay, I'm going to put these in the oven, 375, for 40 minutes. I'm going to set my timer on my phone, and then I will show you the finished product. Nice. How long do they last, and how do you keep them? Yeah, so in the refrigerator, I would say about a week. I don't... I eat them every day when I make them, Um, but you can also put them in a Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer. And I think they would be fine in the freezer for a few weeks. Um, And that way you can just take it out when you want one and put it in the air fryer. I love my air fryer. I just drop it in the air fryer, put it on the defrost for a couple of minutes, let it get uh, a little defrosted, and then I'll cut it down the middle and then put it in the uh, air fryer for a few minutes to get it a little bit crispy. Right. Uh, Rhonda says your bagels look yummy even before cooking and she loves your shirt. I mentioned that too. I like your shirt. Oh, thank you. Yes. Eat plants. (laughs) 
Eat plants hey, so to the pants. <laughs> this is our bagel. Give you a, an idea close up so you can see what it looks like. It does look like a bagel. I got, I got to yeah. tell you. And then we can cut it right down the middle. That is pretty sweet. And there is your bagel. Now, I, I suggest, you know, because it's made with almond flour, you're going to have a little bit more of a like a crunch to it. Right. Especially when it's coming out of the oven. The edges are going to be a little bit crunchy. I, I like that little bit of crunch. I used to always put my bagels in the toaster. Um, so I would even though these just came, they came out of the oven just before we started the show. Um, I'd like to heat them up a little bit, like I said, in the air fryer and then put a little bit of either jelly or um, the cream cheese, you know, vegan cream cheese. Which I don't know if you've tried the 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 Borson the Borson cream cheese they have I now have one and it's actually pretty good. I was really oh. surprised at how good it was. Um, yeah, and nice. that's it. That well, is thank you so much, Sandra. This was a wonderful presentation. If you guys want to support Sandra and her work, get the bundle from her. I've been posting the link below. And remember, it's going to be gone in about 36 hours and you'll be really sad. Thanks so much. It was so great seeing you again. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And the best investment that you can ever make is in you. $49 is really not much of an investment and it could possibly change your life. Sending you all right. lots of love. I Thank agree. You. Bye Thanks, bye. Sandra. Thanks to all of you for watching another episode of Chef AJ Live. Come back in 45 minutes. Tim Kaufman of Fat Man Rants is going to show you what he eats, how he was able to lose almost 300 pounds. Take